Today we are going to learn how to order fractions on a number line. A number line is a horizontal line with numbers placed at the same distance from each other. For each number, there's a tiny vertical mark showing where that number belongs on the line. The numbers on the number line increase as we move from left to right and decrease moving from right to left. Generally we draw arrowheads on both ends of the line to suggest that the line continues indefinitely in the both directions, from left to right, and from right to left. That means, the numbers on a number line keep on going forever, even though we could never write them all down. And do you notice that all the marks are the same distance apart? They are all one apart. That means, you just add 1 to get to the next number. Or subtract 1 to get to the previous number. This distance is called the scale of our number line. So, we can say that this number line has a scale of 1. But the scale doesn't have to always be 1. It can be any number like 2, or 3, or any number you want, depending on your needs. For example, instead of a number line from 0 to 10, maybe you need one that goes from 0 to 40. You don't need to draw a number line that shows all the numbers from 0 to 40. Instead, you can choose a scale of 4 and just write a few numbers until you reach 40. Like 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Now we have two number lines. One that goes from 0 to 10 and another that goes from 0 to 40. Even though these two number lines look the same size, the bottom one is actually four times longer. It just looks shrunk. We can stretch them to show their actual size. But we don't need to do it. That's the importance of scales on number lines. We don't need more space to draw a larger number line, we only need a larger scale. For example, could you tell where the number 6 is on the first number line? As you can clearly see, the number 6 is here on this mark. And where is the 6 on the second number line? That's right. It's between the 4 and the 8. That's where 6 is, even though its mark isn't shown. Just because a number line has marks showing specific numbers doesn't mean there's nothing in between them. Even in the first number line, there are numbers in between these spaces. For example, could you tell where the number 3.5 is on the first number line? That's correct. It's between the 3 and the 4, exactly in the middle. Now we are going to learn how to place fractions on a number line. To do this, let's look at the following fraction. This fraction is 3 fourths. 
Let's see where this number should be placed on our number line. The first thing we want to take a look at is the denominator. In this case we have a 4. That means we need to split each interval of our number line into four equal parts. 1, 2, 3, and 4 parts. We do the same with all the other intervals. So, our first mark is 1 fourth. Our second mark is 2 fourths. Then we have 3 fourths. And here it is. 3 fourths is here on this mark. And? Did you understand everything? Great. Let's look at another example together. This fraction is 5 thirds. So we have a 3 in the denominator. That means we need to split each interval of our number line into three equal parts. One, two, and three parts. We do the same with all the other intervals. So, our first mark is one-third. Our second mark is two-thirds. Then we have three-thirds or one. Four-thirds. Five-thirds. And here it is. 5 thirds is here on this mark. What about 5 halves? Can you tell where 5 halves is on this number line? That's right. It's exactly in the middle of 2 and 3. That's where 5 halves is. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.